Yeah, we can start today off before we, like, begin our leveling grind. With going over some of the talent builds that I played for Fury. I want to I wanna play some arms soon. Uh, but so far, Dragonflight's been a blast. Really been digging it. Uh, this is what I'm doing for my leveling. I initially was, like, gonna play uh, Rally and Cry to get into second win. Just to have, like, between combat healing. But I haven't really needed it yet. So I'm just playing Stormbolt still. Um... This, there's like a couple builds that I'm interested in. This is the one that's built in, focus on Raging Blow. You can also play an Annihilator build that will end up being focused more on Bloodthirst, which should be really fun because you do get these two things that buff Bleeds, right? Which will buff your Odin's Fury, your Dragon Roar, and your uh, Cold Steel Hot Blood. So all that is, uh, it's pretty fun. <clears throat> but this is what it looks like for now. It's like, good rage generation, some fun utility. Uh, just spam the heck out of Raging Blow, basically. So you take a bunch of different talents that give you, uh, you know, some synergy with Raging Blow. Like more damage, more charges of it, you know. So you have like, you know, three charges of Raging Blow. It cools down faster. Um, and some of the talents that I'm getting from leveling, I'm putting into depths, which I don't know about that one. But these are pretty fun, because it makes... Um, Gives a little bit more crit, which is something that you don't really, like, invest in a ton of right now. But it does also make your Annihilator and, uh, well, it's more like Raging Blow deal. 10% increased crit damage, which is cool. I think Spear is going to be great for PvP. There's, like, a lot of different options here, but this is what I'm just doing for leveling. Um, <coughs> in terms of, like, Annihilator, you can swap over to this. And I'd be very interested in, in putting points into this still for the auto attack thing. I'd probably want to put points into here for, like, having some ability to cleave damage a little bit. And probably even, like, this kind of thing. Just for, like, more uh, haste. Because eventually, even going down to, like, um, Reckless Abandon, making your uh, your Bloodthirsts that much more powerful would be really good. So that's going to be another point that I want to put there. Uh, now, in terms of this side, I think that going into Avatar... Would be really good. I don't think there's anything that I really want. Maybe Whirlwind doing more damage, and you could do Slam doing it does more damage too, which could be fun. But I think that you're gonna want Avatar. So this is probably what I'd be doing for Annihilator. Dragon Roar damage, and you could even take out like the Dragon Roar cooldown for Avatar if, if you wanted to right now, and then eventually get that. But this would be pretty fun too. Making Whirlwind uh, cleave a little more and generate rage, and also do more damage because of Annihilator. You do use slam in your rotation, so you could eventually go for crushing force and other things that buff slam. But that would be the annihilator build at the moment. Um, but you do have a lot of different options, and I could even play this today. I've just been keeping up with the raging blow thing. I, I had these, I had this set for like world PvP, but it's actually just not. So I don't know why it says that. Yeah, what build was it? Was I even using? What build did it think I was using? I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> what build did you think I was using? I think it's just two points here. Maybe, like, did I not save the build? I think this is really all I did for the build that I was using. But whatever. This is pretty much the same idea. I'm not investing very much into Bloodthirst, but I am taking the point where... Uh, you enrage every time you press Bloodthirst on a new target. Which helps for leveling, but it's also kind of nice to always have that button that you can press when hitting something that's like, this will enrage me, which is kind of nice. And it does have a higher chance to enrage you in general. You're not pressing, you're not pressing Bloodthirst a ton, but you do want this talent. Your auto attacks can never miss while you're uh, enraged, so... That's pretty good stuff. Um, I, I, I want to play some arms, and I want to, you know, do more in-depth stuff, but... I mean, Fury's been, been really fun so far, so I've, I've been playing it and enjoying it. It's been good. And I said it. Thanks so much for the Prime Man. Big flex for you. Appreciate it, dude. The art, you like that artwork? Yeah, that's cool. But yeah, so far so good. Um, the plan for today is to stay on the grind, get level 70 today. Still hooking up lots of uh, pets with the gifted subs. The mounts just by um, hanging out and tuning in. And uh, should be good to go. But yeah. All this, all th those two builds are mostly just, like I said, Annihilator's built around, you know, auto attacks, but mostly, really, it's what you're pressing is Bloodthirst. I've, I've described it almost as, like, playing a Windwalker, where you have, like, Bloodthirst, Whirlwind, Bloodthirst, Slam, you know, Bloodthirst, 
rampage, just so like every other global is bloodthirst, unless you have like sudden death procs and stuff like that. <clears throat> but it does a lot, and so I I, I wonder maybe I'll try it today, because I actually am very curious what would happen if you play reckless abandon, and your next two bloodthirsts are empowered and have a really short cooldown, you can just spam it. But it might be really fun, so we could do that. As a matter of fact, we could. Maybe I will. The, the bleeds be nice too. I don't think that you have enough crit to really make this shine. But yeah, we're, we're one point away from from Reckless Abandon. And I probably end up putting another point in Swift Strikes, too. If I love the IGN video, thanks, and that was fun, huh? And Pulse, thanks for the full year, man. Big flex for you, and the Red Dragon status. What a beast. Thank you, man. But yeah, all in all, like I said, Dragonfly has just been great. I guess we could try some, like, just show some gameplay real quick of the Annihilator build and see if it feels good. I think you can tell I haven't been playing this build because I still have all this stuff in my bar. Uh, let's put uh, Avatar over here, just for now. But yeah, the Raging Blow build does feel good. Still feels really strong. Oh, but you can tell I haven't been playing this build because I also don't have my, my Dragons on here. I gotta get my Dragons. Oh, there's my Feldrake. Here you go. So if you guys watch the stream for four hours, you get the Feldrake. It's nice. There it is. Looking pretty good. And then Pulse Styles getting your pet going too. Thanks so much for the two gifties, dude. Big flex for you. Appreciate it, man. But there's the Fell Drake. <laughs> Looks pretty good. Where are my dragon riding guys? Should we, should we ride the green dragon around a little bit? Let's go with the Proto Drake. And shoot. Hooked up some uh, subbies as well. Thank you, man. But yeah. Oh, wait. Wait, we don't have any any dragon riding skills on here. I gotta like drag those on my on my on my bar. How do you do that? How do I how do I pull it on my bar? <laughs> uh oh. Wait a second. How do I get those? That's funny. The green the green dragon does look kind of funny. Yeah, I agree. I need those back in my bar, man. And back in business, Mr. Jerry Big Flicks for you. Thank you, dude. From the spell book. Okay. Ah, here we go. Wait. Okay, those are all passive. Surge forward. Skyward Descent, which is just jump. Anyway, okay, here we go. Yeah, I'll, I'll go. I'll go slay something real quick. <clears throat> just jump down here. So the Annihilator build is interesting because you're not just spamming Raging Blow. It's like Bloodthirst, this, and then Slam. Get this going, Bloodthirst again. So instead of just hammering Raging Blow, it's like every other global is Bloodthirst, which is different, but doesn't really feel bad. It is a lot of self healing, so. If you really like the self-healing build, then you can play that instead. Then Raging Blow is obviously just getting in there and just spam the heck out of Raging Blow, which also feels fine. Blue's best? Yeah, we're getting there. And Chuck, thanks for looking up the second sub, dude. Big flex for you. Starting us off with a hype train already, boys. Let's go. Yeah, yesterday's stream was a record-breaking stream for us. at the most subs uh, in one day that we've ever had. <clears throat> by a thousand. Like, broke that. we increased it by a thousand, that number. That was pretty insane. But yeah, I'm, ex I'm interested to play uh, Reckless Abandon. And see if we can, like, proc, you know, uh, the enrage, or the, the wreck off that, and just continue to just spam the heck out of this. And maybe put, even put some points into the extra slam damage. But if you like, if you like pressing a lot of bloodthirst, then, uh, here you go. This is the build for you. <coughs> self healing for threes? I don't know. Like, you could. You could. And you got different bleeds to, to use as well. But yeah, if you just don't like just spamming Raging Blow constantly, then you have this option as well. Um, but there's a lot of really cool talents. Instead of walking you through all of them, it's just going to show you them. And then you can sort of check them out as you want. But I did want to make like a quick little uh, just a build overview to show you guys what I'm working with. This isn't even the... Yeah, so I think I was playing World War. But yeah, you'll see with this build, you're just hammering the heck out of Raging Blow. Which I still think is overall probably better than the other build. The Annihilator build, but... I think we'll keep experimenting. Uh, maybe I'll play Annihilator today. Let's kind of see how it goes. But yeah. Oh, yeah, Demon Hunter has... <laughs> absolutely insane, bro. Demon Hunter is out of control busted. And Balls, <laughs> thanks for the five for the three months, man. Appreciate it, dude. But overall, Fury's feeling really good. I'm having a blast leveling as it, and I'm having a blast with, the, with uh, Dragonflight in general. Main thing is we just got to make sure we get our uh, get our arms build going at some point. And Raz, let's go, dude. Big flicks for you. Thank you so much, man, for the big pumps. But the plan for today is just to keep getting after it, keep putting in the work, and having some fun. 
what I'm I'm really confused what what build I was playing. Oh, we need to get rid of this. There we go. What build it thinks I was playing yesterday? Because like my talents like just didn't save or something. This this is it. Did it not save? There it is. All right. Anyway, let's uh let's get down to business. I'm gonna chuck this uh this video up there for the homies on the old YouTubes, and we'll just keep rolling. Yeah. What what build does it think I was playing yesterday? I'm so confused. Whatever. Whatever. We'll just set it up and get it going. Yep, so far so good. Having a blast. Wanted to get a little update for you guys. Let's keep it rolling. We'll see you guys on stream.